Are you someone who's excited to win? You're excited to make more money. You are absolutely obsessed with the next best thing. You're obsessed with being the millionaire, becoming the doctor, graduating from college, finally when you get that promotion, right? Is that where your focus is at? Well, today I'd like to stimulate your mind in such a way that will have a massive impact on your life. Right? Most people look towards the future and they say, man, when I have A, B, and C, my life will be happy. It'll be amazing. It'll be great. And then you get A, B, and C and you look back and you go, wow, what I would give to go back to those times. Right? I remember there was a time in my life where I would pedestalize a Mercedes SL 550. I would pedestalize a McLaren. I would pedestalize a mansion and the lifestyle I'm living now. Right, where I spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on luxury every month, casually. I would not even conceptualize that back five years ago when I couldn't afford to go to Cheesecake Factory with my close friends. But I would give anything to go back there. And this has led me to realize one of the most valuable lessons in my life. If I value success over time, I will never actually enjoy my life. Most people value money over time, they value success over time, they value prestige over time. But time is the only thing we don't get back. We can always get more success, we can always get more status, more prestige, another relationship, but you can't get that time back. I'm 24 years old now, yesterday was the six year anniversary of my high school graduation. I loved high school, I remember I was with my close friends and a lot of them took the Chesby, which is a test you could take in your sophomore year that allows you to literally graduate high school early. You can start community college right away and you don't have to wait. And it saves you two years in the long run. Well, I would see my friends in a rush. They can't wait to graduate high school, they can't wait to go to college, they can't wait to get their degree. And I would sit there and I remember I would literally be the last person to leave high school. I'd be the first one to walk in. I would enjoy the time with my friends because I knew that that time was rare and it was valuable. But the reason was because I had experiences in my life that many people hadn't undergone. I'd grown up very successful and even though my parents had all this money, my dad would literally go to the emergency room multiple times. I can count dozens of times where I remember an ambulance taking my dad to the hospital in the middle of the night because he had heart problems. And there are times where the doctors would come prepare us and say, including me, when I was eight years old, I remember specifically, the doctor came out, my dad was about to go into surgery, and they had my mom sign a paper and they said, hey, you're consenting to say that he may, his heart may not start again because what the surgery consisted of was pretty much them shocking his heart, stopping it, to then reset it, right? And I look at moments like this and I go, well, what would I give to be with my dad for another hour that day, that moment, just to hold his hand, right? So when I would hold his hand, I would realize that this might be the last time I'm holding his hand, right? And it allowed me to really put things in perspective from a young age that not everything is forever, right? I realized the mortality of the situation, that, that time is rare. And what I wanna encourage you is most people believe that they're hypnotized by society to think that luxury and status are the main thing you should focus on. And even me being one of them, I was like, I need the next car, I need the next house. And in 2020, I was in my mansion and I had eight cars, eight dream cars. Every car you could possibly want, I had it. And I'm sitting in my master bedroom, which was bigger than my parents' house at the time. And I'm sitting there, massive room, massive house, and I look out my balcony in my backyard, I'm looking at all my cars, and I was lonely. And I said, why was I happier when I couldn't afford Cheesecake Factory and I was sitting in a, around a bonfire with all my close friends? What made me happy? And this is what I realized. At that moment then, I valued connection, I valued time, but I took it for granted. I thought, oh, if I make the money, I could have all the friends. And in reality, you can, but you have to have balance. And I think people either go all in on one thing or all in on the other, and this pendulum is swinging. So the sooner you can gain the wisdom to realize that time is super valuable, and that the most important thing in life is connection, not money, not fame, not status, but actually connecting with people, that's when you realize that life is extremely short, and time is very rare and very, very valuable. So when I see people, I mean, I'm thinking about a relationship I had in high school, right, where I was heartbroken for three years after. I was so in love with this girl. And I remember right before I had dropped off at her house, we had an argument about something so stupid. I don't even remember what it was. That's how insignificant it is. But I remember she gave me a gift, like this little treasure chest. And although that seems insignificant, right, here I am six and a half years later, almost seven years from when she did that and handed me that, and that's so sentimental, and I think about how stupid it was that I had a fight over probably nonsense, right? Just things that make no sense. And 
If I could go back, right, I can't, but if I could, I probably would have ended that conversation differently. I would have had it end in a very, very different outcome. I haven't seen this person since then. I haven't seen her in six and a half years. I'll probably never see her again for the rest of my life. And this is what I wanna share with you. This is the wisdom from all the things that I'm tying in together. It's when you're with someone, you can either let your fear and your ego get in the way where you're like, you know what? And you take for granted the situation and you just say, you know what, I'm gonna end on a bad note. And if you end on a bad note, you're assuming that you might see them again. You're assuming that time is forever, that you, you have all the time in the world with this person. But let me put things in perspective for you. Every single relationship you have will eventually end, whether it ends because someone passes away or you lose touch or you break up or you fall out, whatever it is, Every relationship you have is going to end. Every interaction with the people around you might be the last interaction. Like when you go to the grocery store, if that's the last time you're ever going to see this, this grocery, uh, I mean cashier, would you say thank you? Would you compliment them? Would you give them a, a, an amazing day? How would you be different? How would you show up differently? Will you be more present? And that's really what this video is about. It's about learning how to put things in perspective so you could be present to the moment. So many people go throughout their day and they're not present. I remember my friend Jason calls me, he's like, hey, you wanna get sushi? I go with him to get sushi, I pet my dogs, and that's the last time I ever sell my dogs because 45 minutes later, my dad gave me a phone call saying both my dogs are dead and they ran over. Literally, 45 minutes later, they were dead, gone. I pet them thinking I'll see them in an hour. So now every time I'm interacting with my friends, my family, my pets, with you, I give it my all because it, you never know. You never know. And that's the thing. Life is short. Time is valuable. Do not value your future over what you have now. Do not value everything over the moment. The moment is rare. And time is the number one trait, number one most valuable thing in the world. And people can't even conceptualize what time is. This is what time is. Time is something you never, ever get back. Time is this moment is rare because you'll never get this moment again. You'll never have this right now, this time again. So my biggest pet peeve, people ask me, it's people who waste my time because I could have spent that time with others, but I don't let it affect me for too long, right? If you're having a bad day, how long are you gonna let that moment go by where you're feeling bad? Why would I continuously feel bad and take up the only valuable thing I have? Why would you waste an entire day being upset or hurt or jealous? Be in the moment, be present. Something happened to you five minutes ago, come back to the present moment. Come back to this moment because you're not gonna get this time back. And here's something that'll put it all into perspective for you. Think about the person you love and admire the most. If they had two minutes left to live, how much would you give for an extra 60 seconds with them? I'd give everything. I would give everything. What would you give? So, when you're going about your day and you're thinking that you're gonna waste your time you think about an interaction and you just say, bye guys, see you, or you're like, I hate you, don't talk to me anymore, and you wanna have an ego, put into perspective, what if this was the last conversation? I was at a seminar, this was my first ever seminar I went to, and part of the seminar was to go make up with your parents, your family members, your siblings that you were extremely upset with, right? And people would call their parents, their friends, their siblings that they haven't spoken to in five, 10 years, and they'd make up with them. And we come back from break and everyone's having fun. Then we go to lunch, we come back and someone is clearly like pale, they're crying and they're sitting on the chair. Entire seminar sitting down and this one person in the middle of the room is standing on their chair. And the speaker goes, uh, please have a seat. And they're like, well, I'd like to share something. And the speaker goes, well, not right now. And they're like, no, please, I have to share something. So the speaker gives them the mic and they share this. They say that in the first break, they called their dad, who they haven't spoken to in five years and they made up with their dad. Well, when we went to lunch at that time, their dad was working on the roof of their house and he slipped, fell off the roof and died. And if she, had not, if she had not made up with her father in that moment, she would have never had the chance to talk to him ever again. And you know, this gave the entire room perspective. Everyone in the room was crying, everyone in the room was emotional and people who didn't go make up with their family or their friends immediately got up and did. And here's what lesson I'd like to give you about all of these things. I'm not saying that you, your friends, your family are gonna to die tomorrow. What I am saying though, is that time ends and time is valuable. Stop chasing things and enjoy what you have. Be in the moment. What do you have right now you can be grateful for? Even when I was sleeping on a chair in a kitchen in my parents' house, on a chair, literally in the kitchen, okay, like a kitchen chair, imagine that, for a year, what could I have been grateful for then? I'm grateful for the fact that at the time, I had my dogs. I had friends in my life that I don't have in my life. 
I had my parents younger, I was younger. I was enjoying experiences like high school and college that I'm never gonna get to experience again, right? I, I can look back and say, wow, look at those moments that I took for granted at the time, right? I would drive a, a, a car and the convertible had a hydraulic leak. I'd be driving it and it would leak hydraulic fluid all over my clothes and my body. And I remember how many times I would laugh with my friends and everyone would get in the car because they would see these paper towels with hydraulic fluid everywhere and sometimes it would even leak on them, right? So these, these moments are priceless because I know I'm not gonna get them again, you're not gonna get them again. Find the beauty in the moment and you're gonna see that your life changes. So if you really like this video and you wanna learn how to get things in perspective, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. So go ahead and subscribe right now because I'm gonna be posting a lot more content here for you that's gonna transform your entire life. And make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you support me and you like what I'm talking about, please give it a thumbs up, support me, share with your friends, and please make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell so you can see whenever I post. I'm posting regularly, I am 100% committed to changing your life, and I want you to help me change as many lives as possible. So I'll see you in the next one.